we got on the plane and I'm trying to cover the person behind me because I'm sure they probably don't want to be on the camera. But it is a little quiet, so I can't really be that loud. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we just boarded the airplane and it was a little hectic, but we are on it and it is about to take off in five minutes and it's gonna be a four hour plane ride, so it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, and both of our luggage weighed 50 pounds. Yes, her luggage ended up weighing like 60 something pounds, so we had to shove it all in mine and it ended up being 50-50, which that is the limit if you guys have not like ridden a plane. The limit is 50 pounds for your luggage. So we managed to get 50-50 exactly. Yeah, she was like, your luggage is gonna be $200. I was like, for 10 extra pounds. All right, well, I will catch you guys when we get to LA. Okay guys, so I'm sorry, I look like a mess. I just got out of the shower. We finally made it. It was such a shit show getting out of the airport and finding an air, not an Airbnb, what the fuck am I saying? LAX, you need to get your shit together. It was such a shit show finding a Uber and a Lyft to get us from the airport to our Airbnb. We ended up having to just take a taxi because this needs to be its own story time. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry, but like, I'm not even gonna get into this now because <laughs> I'm gonna have my Uber and my Lyft nightmare story time up for you guys soon because that is like a whole nother video. But right now, we finally made it and it is so gorgeous here. Seeing all the cool different plants is so cool. I'm so <laughs> glad we're finally here because if I would've been at LAX another minute, I would've lunged myself. Like my fire sticks are never this red. They're usually mainly green. They're so pretty. These cactuses just flower. That's so pretty. I freaking love succulents. And cacti. So this next time. Okay, so we met these really. No, 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 I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. Can no? Can you come here? So we met these really cool people, and they took us to a taco truck. And this taco truck has a health score of 65. Oh. <laughs> So it is, um, what time is it? Ah, fuck, it just in my elbow. It is 10 o'clock here in LA, which means it is 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock our time, where we're from, Atlanta. How do you feel? Um, tired. <laughs> so yesterday we met up with some people and we had a bomb ass time. It was super fun. Not only to mention, we walked around a bunch, explored like the subway. <laughs> we went on the blue line train. The blue PSA, the blue line is ratchet as fuck. Yes, if you guys are not from Hollywood or like not from LA, like the blue line is something that we figured out is <laughs> not the best train to go on. Yes. Red line train was definitely the better train to go on. The blue line train was not really that. It was, it, I was kind of scared. Like. Yeah, we got <laughs> off at this bus stop at this like ratchet gas station. You couldn't even go inside. Like it was just a guy with like a microphone and like a screen. Like it was so ratchet. And then we had to walk over to the train and this like old man, man kept being like, hey, 
come here. Yeah, the, like, come here. <laughs> there was just, there were too many creepy people, and there were too many, like, alleyways. It was very hood, and I just, I really didn't like it. I didn't really feel safe. You already know, we got our pepper spray and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After we did that, we just basically went around exploring L.A. So the Airbnb that we are staying at is right next to the airport, so we do constantly hear planes. It's not that annoying, though. And we did figure out that the Kroger here in California is called Ralph's. And we stopped there and got a whole bunch of groceries and explored the subway system. I don't really know what they want to call it. The bus and trains metro. and the metro. The yeah. metros. And we just had a bomb ass time. And we are going to head to the beach today. I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready. But yeah. So besides having to deal with LAX and the whole airport situation, um, which I'm going to have a whole other video up on that because Uber and Lyft completely just did us dirty um, we had an amazing first day we we're gonna probably go stop by Roscoe's chicken and waffles because somebody did recommend that um, we are definitely gonna head down to the beach today it was super fun last night I was so exhausted by the time we got back to our Airbnb it was about midnight here which would be technically like around 3 a.m. our time so I was dead ass in the back of the car, just like asleep, and Abby had to wake me up. It was super funny. That was the planes that I was telling you guys about, because we are right next to the airport, so we're constantly hearing the planes taking off and stuff like that. It really, it's not that big of a deal, I'm, in my opinion. I think that's actually kind of cool, so a lot of people were like, um... A lot of people thought that that was annoying, listening to the airplanes constantly, but it, I, it didn't even bother me at all, so... I am about to make some breakfast and we're gonna get ready for the beach and we're gonna head down to the beach and I will catch you guys there. to the Santa Monica Pier. I sound like death and I look like death, I know. <sighs> and my sunglasses are holding my shirt down. It's been crazy, we've had to walk so much. But it is so beautiful. That's the wind. I was trying to like look up what Get up. Get all in What is up, you guys? So, today is another day in LA. Another real brown one. Oh, dog! Look at the dog. Where? Oh, that's a banana tree. That's insane. So we just got back from Melrose Avenue and now we are headed down to the Griffith, Griffith, can't say that, Griffith Observatory. And we're gonna go look at the Hollywood sign. That's such a cute dog, oh my God. Yesterday's been a crazy day. We got up, we did our makeup, 
and now we are headed down to the Grif Griffith, oh god, I can never say that. <laughs> now we're headed down to the Griffith Observatory, and then we're gonna get on the bus, and so I'll catch you guys there. We are in the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. This is insane. We just got to Hollywood. It's a fur covered fish. <laughs> the peacock with two heads. Oh my god. That's insane. This is crazy. Abby, do you like it? Yes. Oh my god. You guys, Wizards of Waverly Place was my literal childhood and I just found Harper's outfit. That is so something Harper would wear. That is completely made of Starburst, I was about to say Skittles, of Starburst wrappers. Aren't these the people with the world's most tattoos? I think so, yeah. So much like we rarely treat ourselves to an uber or a lyft we're mainly taking the bus so or we're walking because the bus is literally like 35 cents so we rarely treat ourselves to an uber or lyft today was kind of a shit show which is why i didn't film for you guys however the mega bus is a whole nother story that is going to be a whole nother video because i can't even get into that right now i'm going to get so livid we're headed into IHOP right now. We just got to Vegas. That mega bus story, like I said, is gonna be a whole nother story. And so I will talk to you guys. All right, I you think. guys are completely just kind of like disregard. Oh, that car is smashed. Just kind of completely disregard how I look right now, but we made it back to Vegas from LA and that bus ride was an absolute shit show. Now we are headed from our Airbnb in Vegas. To the grocery store to get some food because we always like to have just some snacks and stuff to keep at our airbnb by the way sorry my hair is crazy it's like doing its own thing you know so we made it to vegas the architecture is just so beautiful and it, i love it so we're currently walking back to our airbnb we found a little convenient ride for us so we didn't have to carry those heavy ass bags One thing I've definitely noticed about Vegas is that it is like 20 times hotter than LA. I think it's just, I don't even know. It was so incredibly 
cold there that I couldn't even wear the clothes I brought, which is stuff like this, because I was expecting it to be super hot. So that was kind of crazy. In my opinion, I'm not trying to like hate on LA, but I do think I like Vegas a little bit more in a way because LA just, it was covered in trash and it smelled. And Vegas just looks so nice. Maybe that's just because we're in a good area. It just, I love the looks of it a lot more rather than back in LA. We made it, we're here in Vegas, and this is so incredibly insane. Like, I can't even take all of this in. It is so gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. That is the Rio, which is where we bought our shuttle ticket for. So we're headed there now to get on the shuttle and go to EDC. And I am already like so excited. I don't even like oh. Alright, so guys, I know I haven't vlogged a, a little bit the past couple like day and a half because it's just been an entire shit show and I'm gonna film a whole other video on that. But you guys, we made it to Las Vegas. We are aboarding the bus now. Ew. What? Ooh, that should be illegal. So we just got here to EDC and I'm already exhausted and we haven't even gotten in the gates yet. How about you, Abby? <laughs> I know. So hopefully we're gonna make the best. Yeah, we're already three hours behind, so we're gonna go ahead and make today as much as we can as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys in the festival.
that is what is so cool. Whipping in a floor and the tears keep flowing. That wanted to talk down to me. Tell me you'll never fucking do anything, you'll never be nothing. You'll never have the number one album in the world, you'll never fucking play EDC in front of fucking thousands of beautiful fucking people. You'll never win a Billboard Award. By the way, thank y'all so much for the night, man. That means the fucking world. And you know, I got a little bit older. I, uh, I moved out to LA, I was 18. I didn't have a fucking dollar in my pocket. I didn't have anything. I had to go through my friend's uh, center console of his car to find money for cigarettes and, and booze and fun shit like that. And uh, then we made White Iverson and everything fucking changed overnight, man. Thank you so much. <laughs>